Welcome back to another episode of Aoashi. And last time, I thought that it was gonna actually be the match against the the undefeated uh, school that uh, had like the previous like uh, Kanada is on it and like a bunch of childhood friends from Tachibana side. I thought we were gonna go into that match to end off this arc. No, we got a Togashi little flashback, which I'm all for. We got to understand finally why Togashi hates the promoted players so much. They have some beef. They have some some elementary school beef because he tried to be he practiced with them a long time ago. And there's this fundamental discourse of like. Uh, philosophy in playing because Kuroda and everybody else that's part of the promoted players they have the mentality of preserving themselves you know not always going all out if there's a loose ball in the change are you going to run into the goal post or are you just gonna let it you know just let it happen because you're trying to prevent injuries and trying to be basically very calculating when you're trying to take care of yourself to go to a professional path. Togashi think that's bullshit. Togashi think that you should always play to win no matter what because if you do this play to be play to be played in professional right rather than play to win, subconsciously it's gonna poison your mind to the point where the time when the time comes when true like live or death situation comes you will back off. That seems to be the ca clashing. Uh, mindset between Togashi and everybody else that's on the promoted players. What do I think about this? I think Toga both sides. <laughs> I don't. I usually don't like the both sides have a point argument because that's pretty centrist. But both sides do have a point. You know, it's important to not just injure yourself by going for every loose ball change and potentially injuring yourself uh, for the game. It's but what Togashi's saying is also correct, right? You can't play like a pussy all the time. You gotta really sometimes you just gotta put your heart in it. There has to be a compromise to be made between the two. And I think at the end of the episode, um, there has been a little bit of understanding from I'm not sure if Togashi's side understands, but from the promoted player side, the red-haired guy, I think he does understand. Even though Togashi and the red-haired guy is the one who fought. Also, there seems to be a little bit of uh more Anri and Togashi because like the ship right now, the only ship that kind of exists is Hana and Aoi, even though that's kind of gone to shit, it's gonna be bad, right? She just kicked us in the head, but Anri and Togashi, ever since the moment that she told him about her dreams, and he's like, wow, she actually acknowledges her passion and her dreams, right? So that was really nice to see, but she's making him like bento boxes and stuff. And it's funny to see the butler that's always like clinging behind. Actually, he's so proud of Anri too. The butler, low-key, very underrated character. So, at the end of this episode, we kind of got together. I think team morale is decently back. I was able to, you know, rally everyone together. Team motivation was all-time low. We had a fight. But, we gotta get together. And I think Tachimana, his willpower is back. Before he told the coach to say, just put me out. I can't play like this anymore. I saw what Yoshi, I saw what Yoshisune could do. I can't, do, I can't be like him. But you don't have to be like him. I think Tachibana, actually, he goes... He was an ace previously on his previous team. It's just a mental block. I bet he will be actually pretty decent if he gets over this mental hurdle. But we'll have to see in the previous, in the next match coming up. But I think that's enough. Let's start this week's episode. What's happening this time? Everybody's gathering for the match. Satake Kochi. Who is that? Oh, it's oh, it's the it's the it's the coach that turned everything around, right? Hmm. He's done. Oh, he's a little fanboy. Okay, okay. He's done a little bit of research on the other side. He can coordinate. He can, you know, do the head turns and. <laughs> okay, do you don't have to manage go? I, I mean, he's always is he able to dump her? No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't, right? He always says like he's able to. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Guys, relax. Individually, but if he can't work as a team. Oh, he's playing this pep talk is... Yeah, because we have everything to lose right now. And they have everything to win. So what she seems okay. I always is all dialed in. Are you sure you should be saying maybe this will rile them up? Maybe this is better than just being just weak and sad. Aoi? Or red haired girl? Did he shave his head? Oh fuck! I saw the buzzers! I mean, uh, this is Red Pompadour, the only character I know in all of, you know, anime like that, that shaved his head. Slam dunk, right? Shohoku's, uh, Mad Monk, the Red Monk, right? Damn, he actually shaved his head, though, for this. Slam dunk was such a good ass sports series. It's probably my first sports series. You guys should watch it or read it if, it, if you have a chance. Just amazing basketball manga. Fuck you. He's gonna get clapped. Canada is gonna get clapped. Watch. I'm not sure how. I'm sure he'll get a goal here and there, but 
I think we'll be able to like how do I expect this match to end? One-sided or a close match? Maybe close match and both sides start to respect each other? Maybe. Maybe. There's a Sasuke right here too. Sasuke with his his, his Sasuke hair so <laughs> signature. Okay, Aoi. Now, coordinate everybody. Force them into positions where only one outcome can happen. And then counter that. Long ball skills. Okay. <laughs> I got no skill. It's okay. You have the most important skill, which is just like the craziest vision on field. That's all you need. Verbalize everything. Talk. Communicate. Eye contact, remember. Verbalize. Eye contact. And then crow vision. <laughs> Make your eyes go orange. Okay. You. Let's go. Four bench players. Killer pass! Come on, playmaker. And hit the middle of the ball with the top of your okay, this is just kinda of explaining like the mechanics of hitting the ball, I guess, kicking the ball. Tachimana, if you get a goal right now, it'll be a pretty good momentum to start. Go! In! Uh, slide in! No, it doesn't look like it. Mmm, now he's already... This, he's realized, he realized. But the coach probably has a different plan, right? There's no way we're just gonna stick with this. Oh, I forgot. This is also Tachiman's sister. I freaking... I forgot, I forgot. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Surely they don't. They don't the coach, come on. You got some other plays, right? The fuck? Uh-oh, Sasuke, what's going on? Coach is like, do it. Do it, Sasuke. Mm hmm Eye contact, verbalize. But he never opened his eyes! <laughs> Kuroda never opened his eyes! Fucking Brock! Brock from Pokemon. Okay, okay. Oh! How did he know? Some, this is about... This is the new changes with how the coach changed it, right? But how did he... I saved Togashi, but... Kind of the through. Don't let this guy get a goal. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. You shaved your head for this guy. Oh, no. He's cut. Owie! No foul, right? No foul, right? Nice one. Nice save. That's pretty impressive considering they also went through like the previous episodes to make a note of how strong his physical build is now. Kind of that is a threat. As much as I shit on it. No, it was a foul. But is that a penalty kick or it's a free kick, right? At that range. So this means like uh back in, so this means people just line up in front, right, and just kinda cover your dick. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get hit in the face of your crotch. Oh okay, you realize too? Yes, okay, he's able to just deconstruct it immediately. He's got a big brain for sure. Because other teams have probably done this before, or number 10. Sasuke understood? Chiaki, okay, I'll call him Muto. But I like to call him Playmaker. The key word again, Playmaker. Remember, this is what they, uh, K Togashi and someone else also, I think it was like, was it Kuribayashi and Akutsu too? But when they were talking about Aoi, right? What he could be. Then we don't have to just do high, you don't have to do a long ball. Playmaker though. Aoi, show him that you're a better Playmaker. Adjust to their own strategy too then! Come on! Togashi, you got an idea? We don't have that central... Like, Otomo, if he, he could maybe do it, but... Nah, I guess not right now. Oh? Huh? Ow, be careful! I feel like this is the... The one chance! Uh, hey, 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 hey! Oh, he fucked up, okay. Could've the fucked up. Kanada, if you score off of this, he's gonna score. Boom! No, he kicked it! Already kicked- Ah, this is looking like a- And rebound! He follows it up with the rebound, watch. Watch him rebound. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna head it in. Or kick it. 
Nice block. Okay, Togashi just saving us. Jesus Christ. I thought Kanada might actually have gotten the gold there. Shit. Oh, it's fine with it. Nice one, Togashi, though. Don't look so defeated. We have. Uchimana, you gotta do something like that too, man. It's pretty well balanced. A pure striker. Yeah. <laughs> On an individual level, we might have better talent. But in terms of roles that actually make up a team, we are outclassed. What? Are we really? I just feel like people haven't realized their roles just yet. <sighs> Guys. They're looking like Asperi on youth and more just like some random team at this rate. Oh? I always gonna step up? One on one? Okay. You gotta... You... That's a valid concern. That is a valid concern, but... Cause... Oh? Yeah? Oh, he opened his eyes! Yo, whenever the characters, the anime character that always have their eyes closed, opens their eyes, you know it's fucking serious. Okay, I get it that you keep saying our individual talents are good, but my man. What about teamwork? Individual talent doesn't mean anything if you don't have teamwork. Nice one, Tachibana. Okay, form the triangle. Yeah, there you go. Exactly, and then make them switch to a high press again, and then we do long ball again. You just... It's just back and forth, rock, paper, scissors. Long ball. I mean, high press. Sasuke, discern the field. Guys, 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 high press, high press. One on one, Kanada Kuruda. What's Aoi doing then instead? Yeah. Nice one. Yeah? Basics, okay. Well, I feel like physicality does matter if he would push in. Like, in a realistic match, you can't just say physicality doesn't matter if he would force his way in. But, yeah, okay, whatever. What do I know about soccer? Oh. Difference? No more, in theory. Talk about what's impractical. Ah, the physicality is coming back! That's kind of a foul, isn't it? I feel like... Was that ball only? I couldn't really tell, but... Shit. Okay, he's fast, but can he keep up when Kanada's just like boxing him out with his body? Aoi. Slide! He jumps over. Pass? No? 1v2. Watch him like cross it in or something. We got a few goal uh, header. Oh? Where are you meant to be? Well. Oh, save it! No, that's the difference in the mentality. Can oh my god, that's an outplay. All that was all kind of that right there. I will give credit where it's due. He is playing like how Togashi said to play. Play to win always. Kuroda right there, he gave up. He gave up thinking play to be professional. You know. Take the goal. Take the goal. Just take it. Just take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, follow up. Sasuke heading. Dude, I can't shit on the enemy team when they're playing with their hearts out like this, right? That's a goal. Take the L. Take the L. That's one goal. We'll get it back. But that play right there between what Kuroda gave up but Kanada didn't, that's the difference in mentality that Togashi was talking about in the previous episode, right? Is that the match already? What the f The episode already? Jesus Christ. Is there a post credit scene? There isn't. But again, at the very end, right? At the very end. The difference in mentality really fucked us over. Because Kuroda, look what he was saying, right? I shouldn't be playing like this, right? And at the end, he did do a really good job to basically force kind of the, the ball to get out of bounds, even though they would have possession. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't be having to play like this, right? This level of self-entitlement, this isn't good. It's really a toxic poison in his mind to the point where he gave up in the position right here. See, that was good. The point where he was able to kick it through, that was good. But the fact that he gave up the play and Kanada was able to basically just do an amazing save between Kuroda's legs, kick it all the way in, and then Sasuke comes in with the header. How can you not, you know, give him the credit worth to? That was all. That was all Musashino. Esperion's looking like a bunch of entitled brats. On an individual level, yeah, we might be better. And look how the coach knows what he said, right? 
stop looking things on paper because right now Musashino has everything that we don't they have a playmaker they have a pure striker well, something else I, I forget but Aoi is a playmaker but he hasn't gotten to that level that he's too he's too fresh to this right so the story is it's it's looking the, the battle right now between them it's kind of looking in favor of Musashino but again if we were to just what a like if we were to just get an elite immediately it wouldn't be fun coming back right we gotta have we're gonna let them get this goal all deserve all, take it take it right that's that's all that's all you guys but the comeback's gonna start Aoi's gonna probably realize something that he's probably gonna learn how to be better like realize what it means to be a playmaker even though I'm not gonna say Sasuke is like the best playmaker he definitely is one Aoi could definitely learn from him and maybe he'll realize and be able to I don't know stimulate his own true potential to be a playmaker to the point where Sasuke's like wow that is a playmaker right there maybe something like that also Tachibana needs to be a like he needs to understand his identity as a forward because if he really can't score it means nothing and there's something interesting that kind of just said before at the end where he said oh not the end the beginning where we messed up the first shot right where Aoi had a nice long ball Tachibana got went in took a shot but the goalkeeper blocked it kind of just said that mistake has sealed your fate like I, maybe that was just alluding to the fact that oh you're doing long balls okay we're just gonna change your tactic to kind of instead of a high press we're gonna do like a low press right and then that way to counter their low presses to do short passes and move slowly up and then if they're gonna realize oh they're doing short passes again we're gonna do high press let's switch it up long ball right it's about adapting it's about rock paper scissors who's able to understand what strategy the opponents are playing and then counter that Whoever can adapt the fastest, that's how you, you know, win these kind of competitive sports. Not that I would know anything about soccer. Anyways, another great episode. If you enjoyed this reaction, if you stayed this long, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video, immediately up this one. Helps the YouTube, I'll go push out my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.